What's up everybody, Tindo here, and with me I've got Dan and Elisa. That's right, Tindo has friends. Most of you probably watching think I just sat in my Dungeness game room all day all by myself and, you know, it's just me and Patrick. But Patrick's not my only friend. I've got friends, swear. And today, me and my friends went thrift shopping. And we went to, what did we do? We went to a Savers. Two Savers. Two Savers, two savers and one Goodwill. And as you can see, we all bought a bunch of stuff. Now, Hannah was with us, as you're about to find out. But Hannah is uh, not here to show her stuff because, well, somebody's got to point the camera at us, don't they? So, <laughs> let's run to the thrift stores real quick. You guys can look at all this stuff that we got, and then we'll come back here and we'll talk about what we got. Check this out. Today's thrifting adventure is one that I'm very excited about. Monday is the day that we do our biggest thrifting day. And Dan and Elisa are some friends that we have made here in town. And they wanted to go with us on today's thrifting adventure. And they came prepared because look at this. Dan is ready to go in his PlayStation shirt. That's awesome. So let's go right into this thrift store. And let's all find something to take home with us. The video games I'm a little bit worried about because I've actually been here in the last couple of days. And I'm not super confident there's going to be a lot of new stuff. But that's okay because Dan and Elisa are shopping for much different things than I am. So perhaps they'll get something interesting that you guys aren't quite used to me buying. So right off the bat, there's a sports game that I don't know if I have or not. But I just can tell that there's about the same games that were here the last time I was. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them. But something really interesting happens here. Well. It says your name on it. Oh, nice. They put it back. <laughs> That's great. What? That's hilarious. That's so great. You know what happened? I was here last week. It was 10 bucks. I looked it up on eBay. It was like six. So I was like, I'm, I'm just going to put this back for me. I don't want it. They didn't even take the sticker off. <laughs> That's hilarious. I guess I have to buy it. Don't I? <laughs> it's got your name on it. That's funny. If that doesn't tell you how much I come here, I don't know. <laughs> how random is that? They were digging over in the DVDs, and in the DVDs, they dug out a game that has my name on it. That's so random. That is the most random thing that has ever happened to me. That You, you can't make this stuff up. Yeah, I, I almost bought that game a few days ago, and then I decided not to, and I guess they just neglected to take the hold sticker off that they had put on it to, to let whoever was working the cash register know that that game was mine. Super random. Uh, I'm going to have to leave that sticker on there now, I guess. Now, something that's important to know is that usually when you see Hannah and I go to these savers that we're going to go to today, we go early. We go early in the morning, and we try to get there as close to open as possible. Uh, and that's not what's happening today. We started off pretty late, and that's all right because Savers actually restocks throughout the day on their sales days. So, you know, it's just as good to go late as it is during the day because they're going to put out stuff that you're, you know, not going to see in the morning. Dan there just had an aftermarket Wii power cable, and it was a Wii U cable actually, and we thought about buying it, but it was a little high. And there was an Xbox 360 there. We just passed up a Wii. There's lots of little gaming stuff here, but we're not seeing anything that we need. There's a sewing machine, some Wii boards, some wall outlets, anything you need. They got it at Savers. I am so glad we decided to look at the toys today because there was some, <laughs> there was some interesting stuff. Look at this troll. It's a big troll doll. The longer we looked at this, <laughs> these toys, it got weirder. Look at these troll dolls. Now, listen. I remember having troll dolls back in the day. Matter of fact, my toy shelf still has a couple of them on there. But they're just the little bitty ones, not those huge ones. And there are some weird instances where these trolls could be worth money. I probably should have looked these guys up. Heaven forbid there'd be some random little troll here that's worth a bunch of money. And I just passed it right up. <laughs> There's a small irrational part of me that just thought, you know what? buy all these trolls look here on the left there's a little bag of smaller trolls there's trolls all over the savers why are there trolls here there is some irrational part of me that just said buy the trolls you know you want to and i do i i half regret not at least looking at the price tags and maybe bringing home some of these weird trolls but it's like my pez collection i didn't intend to buy a bunch of pez but i found a box of like a thousand of them for like 15 bucks so i bought them and i collect pez now I don't need to collect trolls too, but I am glad we looked at these because those trolls 
are ridiculous. I am glad, though, on top of the trolls, that we looked at the toys because Dan and Elisa found a couple awesome things here. Yeah, so this they released, and it shoots these things out of them. Oh, okay. We got some, is, that's like, not the same thing you bought today, is it? Uh, you, whatever you bought yes. today, it is. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Same series. Same series. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I think his name's Banchan. I think so, yeah. That's awesome. We'll talk a little bit more about the toys that they bought later and these books that I'm buying. I bought some Minecraft books because you know how much I like my Minecraft. But we went on to the next savers and... Again, not too many video games here. I haven't been frequenting this particular savers as much as the other one, so uh, there's definitely some stuff here that I haven't looked at, but nothing that I'm going to go crazy over. There was some sports PSP titles that I'm going to take a closer look at, but luckily I had Dan here with me looking through these games because he ended up finding a demo disc that I'm definitely going to buy. That case that I just picked up, I thought that might have been a demo disc, but it wasn't. It was some aftermarket printed case. But look at this, Britney Spears on a PlayStation Magazine demo disc. That is 100% a demo disc for the PlayStation Magazine that I do not have, so I'll be buying that. And since it was in one of these small jewel cases, I was very, very careful to make sure to check the rest of the jewel cases around to make sure there were no more of these in there because I very desperately want to collect that whole PlayStation demo disc set. Here's something Elisa found on the shelves that she really thought I'd like, and she was right. I do love my clone consoles, uh, but this is just ridiculous. If I start buying this stuff and collecting it, <laughs> I'm going to have shelves full of nonsense. Not that I don't already have shelves full of nonsense, but this was pretty neat to look at. Sometimes you'll find these, and they're actually NES clones. Like, you plug NES controllers into them, but I don't think that's what this was. I think this was just a really cheap... I don't know what. I have no idea what this is, but it's goofy. Dan and Elisa are really, really into collecting old cartoon and anime series, which is awesome. I I like to vicariously collect through them because I'm just... I complain about this all the time. I already complained about this once this video. I'm trying not to find more things to collect because I need all the space I can get for my video games, but... I do often see some of these cartoons that they're buying and think, man, I'd like to get some of those, but I've got to stop. I've got to stop myself. They've already found some Speed Racer cartoon DVDs, and I believe Elisa has some Batman DVDs there. There's a lot of good stuff at a Savers. They always have racks and racks of DVDs. And there's a Blade DVD. I don't know why I picked that up specifically. I guess that caught my eye. We found a really dirty black wheat look how dirty this thing is i don't know how that ended up like that but uh that's definitely not worth buying it's uh yeah let's leave that behind just sir uh, bro there you go no way that's that's the part point of the game it like scans them with the camera and then you play with them i've never played it but yeah they were i didn't know that so what is that the camera is like an eye toy game or yeah. is there a specific camera that goes with it just the ps3 camera that's awesome yeah. what'd you get um a velvet dress because i'm obsessed with it and pair of calvin klein jeans I, I want you to know we only walked over here because of the pokemon dress i put it back <laughs> But these are amazing. No, this is way better. Put that stuff back. <laughs> it's dope. It's is that your size? It. It has a, I think it's a children's XL. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's stretchy though. It could work. Okay. We do the. We must know. These are my baby. Let's do the. Seam check. Not quite. Close. <laughs> Close. I don't know. It could work. I would get it, but I would never wear it. <laughs> That's true. Dang. so cool. Those are pretty dumb. What does it say? Revolt. Revolt jeans. Another traditional. Can Can't read it. Okay. This is a brand I know I've gotten before. Now on to the last stop of the night. This Goodwill is right next door to that Savers. So we're going to go here next. We were going to go on to a desert. We're not far from one. But the desert industries close a lot earlier than the Goodwills do. So we're not going to be able to visit my favorite thrift store. But come back tomorrow or in a couple days. And uh, we'll definitely go to desert. We're always going to desert here on the channel. But this particular Goodwill puts most of their video games in the lockbox. 
So I'm going to go check that out first. There's a big stack of uh, Xbox One stuff there. And there is a couple Disney Infinity Wii U games, but there's just not a ton here to look at. There's a Dale Earnhardt watch or box set in there. So I left all that behind and went over to the regular media section, hoping to have a little bit more luck. I checked these CDs or computer stuff to make sure they weren't DVDs. And here was an empty PSB case for Dude Where's My Car. And uh, that's been there for a while. Uh, like a week or two ago, I made a video and that was there. So that's not really a good sign for games. But that's all right because we'll, collectively we'll go home with some stuff. There's there's four of us here shopping right now. We'll find something, all right? Don't you worry. Dan has a couple more DVDs he's going to buy. We went ahead and kind of scoured this back section, hoping to find something, but it was really just more of the same. Some old beat-up Wii's. Here is a Wii power cable that was just sitting there by itself. Dan is eyeballing both an Xbox and a PlayStation 2 back there, but the prices on both of these are quite high, so we're not interested in either of them. What well, we got? We got a S and a Duke. Boom. Nice, side by side. Clean. clean. Avengers, nice. Turtles. That's what I'm talking about. Video game books. I don't this one's the making of. That's sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. I was pretty much resigned to not leave with anything from this Goodwill, but I decided to go ahead and have the worker, since she was back there, let me look at all the video games that were in the lockbox. And most of it was stuff I already had. Like, I have both of these Wii U games, and I don't have all these... Xbox games, but they're all really expensive. Every one of these was marked 10, 14, 15 dollars, so I'm not going to pay that for any Xbox sports titles. But I did happen to find a SOCOM game for PlayStation 3, and it was just a couple dollars, so I'm not going to leave empty handed. So let's take all this stuff we bought, let's go back to Dan and Elisa's house, and let's talk about all the stuff that each one of us got. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot to talk about. I'm telling you, but you better you better buckle up because we've got a lot to talk about tonight. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show everything that Hannah and I got, and we're gonna run through my stuff real quick, and then uh, I got a lot of questions about what you guys bought because I know why I bought this stuff, and the people watching have listened to me talk infinitely about why I buy this stuff. But this is you guys are like fresh meat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. So Hannah bought a velvety thing. Hannah, what is this? It's a vintage velvet dress. Oh, that's nice. Back. That looks um, like you. I might just wear that to work. Fit okay, so that's for you. Maybe. And then you bought a pair of Revolt jeans. Those are beautiful. Those are biggins. They may fit me. All right, well, you, you said it, biggin. <laughs> and then what are these, Calvin Klein's? Did Vintage. You, did you pretty much only buy jeans today? I usually only buy jeans, but now right. I only bought the two. Vintage Calvin Klein, these are nice. They're cute, they're Vintage uh, Lee jeans. We've sold quite a bit of these in the past, yeah? Yeah. And then, I'm still mad you didn't buy the Pokemon dress. Did you buy the Pokemon dress? <laughs> All right, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. <laughs> and then, a uh, sister wives dress. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that. I'm sorry if you're watching and you have sister wives. I'm not sorry. So let's talk about the video games that I got. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, PSP Madden 10. Narnia Prince Caspian for the Wii. We'll talk about that in a minute. So calm, confrontation. We're also going to talk about that in a minute. There's a lot of stories tonight. I just realized this is going to take take a while because we got stories. Minecraft books. I've never actually got a set of these all together. So I was very happy to buy these. Actually, the guy that was checking us out at the Savers was mad because he wanted these. I was like, sorry, man. I got to have them. I paid $3 for the whole set. And then this was pretty cool because Dan found it on the shelf. And thank God because I never would have seen this. He recognized this from one of our recent videos. And some of you guys watching might also recognize them. But this is a set of cards. It's a playing card game, right? Yeah. That goes with the video game. You can see at the bottom, it actually says PlayStation yeah. 3 on the box. That's wild. It says PlayStation 3 right there. Right? Yeah. And, yeah. So, so is this the, I guess the eye camera scans the card? Yeah, it's, it's got these top pattern. And yeah, knows it's got some sort of scan pattern on the top. And this is awesome because I bought the game the other day and had no idea whatsoever that a card game went with it. So now I have it. 
I'd like to see what that was originally packaged like. Do you, are you familiar I'm not at all? Sure. Bigger box, obviously. It probably came in a bigger box set. But we'll have to worry about that later. Also, some B cards and some Coca Cola cards. Not what I bought it for, obviously. <laughs> but we can play some Rummy or something later if we want to. All right. So, where did that demo disc go? I bought a demo disc, and Hannah was the one that noticed that. That's Britney Spears. <laughs> That's Britney Spears, right? PS2 yeah. Britney Spears. It's it's faux Britney Spears. Uh, issue 59, and it doesn't say Britney Spears or anything about the game on the front. So, Britney Spears. Maybe comment below if you know a little bit more about that than I do, because I do not recall playing any Britney Spears video games personally. You guys? Yeah, no. it was a dance game. Okay, he knows. He's played it. Um, this was the funniest thing that happened today. You see what that says on the front? Some of you guys watching will know, you guys that have watched a bunch will know that my mother did not in fact name me Tindo, but she named me Dallas. And uh... Hey Dallas, this has your name on it. She found that in the show. <laughs> and she was like, why does this game have your name on it, right? Because it's a little bit too much of a coincidence, right? You know, like, they thought someone had been like, leaving my name on games in the show. <laughs> Hoping you'd find them. On yeah. the shelves. Well, that's not what happened. I actually uh, went to this Savers a few days ago. And this was there, and I thought I was going to buy it, and I didn't, uh, because it had $10 on it. I looked at it on eBay, and I saw it on there for 6 or $7 complete on e eBay, so I was just like, hey, I know it's got my name on it, but go ahead and just put it back for me. I don't want it. So they did put it back, but they didn't take the sticker <laughs> off, and I guess you would call that Providence. Uh, it was meant to be. I now own this, and I'm probably going to leave the sticker on there just to remind me of the day that... Elisa freaked out and found a game in Savers with my name on it. But that is everything that I got. And I'm not mad about it. I'm probably the most excited about these cards, really. Like, it's just <laughs> such a weird, random thing. The Eye of Judgment starter deck. I wonder if there are expansion packs. There's got to be, right? got to be. Got to be. All right. So, Dan, let's talk about the stuff that you got. And let's start with the controllers for sure because these are great. Yeah. Uh, so, we picked up a regular Xbox hold while ago but we didn't have any of the like a good working controller or the what is it, the breakaway yeah the breakaway cable so these are good well and good old duke clean everything works right yeah a regular one and a duke and they're super Four bucks sporty. each all the rubber pads are perfect uh yeah i can't the fact that you paid four dollars with them and they have the breakaway cable there's no cable phrase whatsoever that's a steal yeah and this is way more comfortable than I remember. Right? Yeah, yeah, I love the big one. The yep. big one's perfect for my hands. That's like a six of your head. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Here, um, actually, let's see what that looks like. It's pretty close. That's funny. Yeah, her tiny little hands didn't do that one. <laughs> With this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can reach all the buttons. You can't even reach the triggers? All right. What right, else for did American you get? American men. Let's see. You got. Um, you definitely got some DVDs. You got some games in there, too? Yeah. All so... Right. Uh, Nintendo pulled this one up, and he already had it, and I didn't, yeah. so I got it. I was surprised, because yeah. uh, these guys, if you recall the video they were in last, we kind of mentioned, but these guys are, would you accept the term RPG fanatics? Fanatics. Is fanatics. Yeah. There's a bunch of games back here. You can use your own eyeballs to judge about how many. It doesn't matter how many, but they're like all RPGs, okay? They're like all of them. And so he bought a golf game, and I was like, well, that's weird. Why are you buying a golf game? You're supposed to be buying RPGs, but you do, in fact, like golf games, yeah? I do, and GameCube is one of those things, if we find them for cheap, we're just going to pick them up, because there's not that oh, yeah. many on the system. Oh, yeah, for sure. Even the sports game, because it was half off today at Savers. I don't know if we've mentioned that yet, but buck fifty, a dollar fifty for sure. And I bet it's a just fine golf game. Yeah. Is it two discs? Open it up. It's one. It is one, okay. There's a lot of golf games on the GameCube that are two discs. I just didn't know if it was that Why? one. Why? I don't know. I don't think there's a lot of content. Nine holes on one, nine holes on the other. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so picked up... Uh, this is kind of cool. So obviously we love picking up anime when it's real cheap. And we found these for well, those half off. So buck fifty each. And we have... I found this one first. I'm like, okay, well, Speed Racer. This is uh, the second set. So hopefully I can find the first one. And sure enough, brand new and sealed. There's the first one. Did you find them at separate... Thrift stores? Same thrift store. That's both a at a... Was that Savers? Yeah, that's Savers. Yeah, both at the first Savers. Yeah, that's awesome. Were they not sitting next to each other? Nope. You just kept digging and there was the second one? We found it. I that's don't... that's why you gotta dig at the thrift stores, because you never know what's gonna happen. Um, I definitely watched Speed Racer a little bit as a, I was a kid. A yeah. little bit, but like I don't have huge, huge memories of it. Have you watched Speed Racer at all since... 
back in back a bit. The day. Okay. Yeah, so, I used to play out of like old cartoons. Okay. And stuff like that. Well, well, good. I because I, my next question was going to be if you'd said no, you know, do you think it holds up? Because these guys collect a lot of cartoons. You'll see when we get to Elisa's stuff. She's got some more cartoons, <clears throat> cartoons and anime, et cetera, et cetera. What I was going to ask is, do you guys ever buy? Because I'm asking this because I've seen you guys buy a lot of this now. We yeah. went shopping a few times together, and you guys buy some random ass cartoons, some random ass anime. Will you accept that uh, quantification, random ass? Yes. It's some of it's random. Yeah. Um, Speed Raiders so is not that random. But do you ever buy something you watched when you were a kid, and then watch it and just go, okay, this doesn't hold up? No, I just enjoy everything. <laughs> yeah, you just like it all? It's funny you say that, because I'm very much so that way with video games. Maybe not cartoons. There are definitely cartoons I come across where I'm just like, I really watched this and thought it was awesome. Like, I, I can still feel the nostalgia, but then I can go, Johnny Quest is pretty dumb. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's kind of silly. Yeah. But I'm that way with video games, and it's funny because this came up on our Discord uh, very recently, because, uh, well, first of all, if you're not a member of our Discord, go join it. It's fun. These guys are members, and they're always over there talking about uh, anime uh, that they like and the games that they collect, because, as we said, RPGs. I'm always on the Discord asking them questions about RPGs that I don't know, but... I'm very much so that way with video games that were bad when I was a kid. Like, cause like, let's be honest, uh, Dynasty Warriors is not really that great of a concept for a game, right? And so people ask me all the time on the Discord, "Hey Tindo, what's your favorite game? Or what's your top five favorite game series?" And like, do I put Dynasty Warriors in there? Because like, it's not my favorite because it's good. It's favorite because like I'm so passionate about how like how much I love it and remember it. That, the nostalgia. Yeah, it's just nostalgia. Right, yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't have the same feeling really with cartoons, but I understand where you're coming from mm -hmm. because, like, I like some bad video games. Like, let's just be honest. But there was stuff I hated as a kid that now I love. Really? Like what? Like Speed Racer. Like Speed Racer? Like these kind of old anime things. Yeah, like, for I just, sure. I didn't have the mentality. I might, uh, I might have to join you watching an episode or two because yeah. I just don't. This is one I don't remember. Wild. But that is that everything you got? Oh, I got one more. Okay. So this was not at a Goodwill, not at a thrift store. We actually just got it at uh, Off Rep Deal. Okay, you bought this on Off Rep today. We did. Uh, it is Yokai Watch 2, and this is the uh, Shinuchi. It's a Japanese version of uh, of one of the... There's fleshy souls and bony spirits out here, and this is Shinuchi. I can't remember what the other one Psychic. is. Psychic. Psychic? Oh, no, Psychic Spectre. So this so. is completely in Japanese. It's just a Japanese do, yokai watch. And do these games have English settings on them, or uh, do you play these? Will you be able to play it in Japanese? Yeah, yeah these probably. Um, I'm not as fluent as I used to be to be able to read a lot of it and remember, actually know what they're saying, but... Uh, It'll be fun, nonetheless. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, your major in college had to do with Japanese. Yeah. Stuff, right? So is that where your knowledge, your what knowledge you have of the Japanese language comes from? Yeah, and then you know we try to keep up with it by being a part of Japanese. Right. And well, I mean, I, I, could, I would say that would do it. You're still going to be immersed in the language, at, you know, a little bit playing these games. Are these games like platformers or puzzles or this what's going on? A different kind of version of like a monster collecting. Oh, okay. Psychic Specters instead. It's similar to Pokemon. But same, same, but different. But different. Yeah. Way more witty, more fun, a little more adult. If you think about Pokemon and Ghostbusters together and a lot of humor, yes, yes. that would be Yokai Watch. There you go. Does it, ever, does it ever feel to you like the <laughs> Japanese when they're trying to develop something new, just put things in a hat and draw them? The, the more zany, the better. So there, you've, you've been sold. awesome. Yeah. So it's Pokemon, but like with spirits. Yeah. And the spirits are animals like cats. Yeah. Gotcha. Better. I like it. I like the sound of it. I'll have to watch some gameplay of that. That's everything you got. That's everything I got. I, it's glad that, I'm glad that you got this game out and showed us because um, you bought a bunch of stuff off of OfferUp today, didn't you? She, did. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. But let's talk about the stuff that you got at the thrift store today. Um, let's get these out of the way. Yep. Let's, start, let's start with the watches because... They have everything to do with this, right? Mm -hmm. So, we passed over the toy section a few times and Daniel spotted these grouped up in a bag, as you'll see in the video. And um, these are yokai watches from the yokai watch series. So this is basically um, how your yokai, yokai watch trainer, as you will, will summon their spirits is through their yokai watch. So this is like a Pokedex and a Pokeball on one, or is this just like a Pokeball? 
Basically. Speak to me in Pokemon terms or I, won't, <laughs> or I will not understand. So there are medallions on, on the inside of the watches okay. where you're basically summer, summoning the spirits from. And then you buy the little grab bags which we have and there's over a hundred of and these different are, types. These are like the Pokemon cards but not. But they're medals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Yo-Kai Watch medals. This is great. You guys comment below for sure if you know anything about this and uh, tell me if Tindo needs to play it because like... It's it's scratching whatever itch it is that, that I have for Pokemon. It's like, I love the sound of this. And what is this? And then these are McDonald's glasses for uh, one of the main characters. <laughs> His name is Jin Banyan. Jin Banyan. Now my next question is, why did we not start out with these on? <laughs> those look great with your hair. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> now I can't see without my also, can I Also, can I make that the cover photo of this video? Because yeah. that looks great. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. <laughs> like, yes, you can. <laughs> That's awesome. So let me ask a couple more questions before we, we go on. Uh, first of all, this was really random because, again, Discord, another plug here. Uh, Dan, you posted this on our Discord, on our community Discord right. earlier today. And I was like, I have no idea what this is. Uh, we're, I know we're getting together later tonight. We'll have to talk about it because I know nothing about it. And as soon as we met them, we walked into a Sabres. And you guys almost walked directly to these. And they were like, "This, you remember that game we bought? That's what these are. So this has come full circle today for me because... Oh, they, so these discs come out? Yeah, you put new discs in. And then they play the soundtrack or the sound of the creature. Well, it'll fit your arm. I was going to say, I got some big old wrists. <laughs> I got some chonking wrists. Reminds you of like the, uh, what's the uh, other card game? Bro. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, with the, 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 yeah. It's time to duel. Um, this is awesome. <laughs> so it, it really did come full circle today. I had no idea what this game was when we started, and then we went to the thrift store, and I saw these, and like, the collector in me, I'm trying to think of how to explain this without making it confusing, the, the earliest thing I collected was actually movie helmets, and mm. props for movies, that was my first obsession before I even started cl collecting video games, which I say to say I love the props sometimes from certain shows more than I love the shows, like, big Doctor Who fan. But, and I do like the show, and I do watch it regularly, but, like, I love TARDISes. Mm -hmm. I've built, I don't know if I've ever told you guys about this, I've built a full-size 12-foot TARDIS in my front yard when I was younger. True story. I just, I get a bit obsessive. So I say all this to say I love this. Like, I'm going to have to find me one and actually wear it out in public and see, <laughs> see if anybody knows what it is. How do I get the disc out? Do you know? I have no we idea. We haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> we haven't got that far. Uh, it's a process. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out after the video. Um... <laughs> Where, where did this come from new? Uh, did Walmart sell it, you think? Yeah. Hasbro. 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 Well, I asked that question because, like, I'm a, I'm, person, I'm personally a very good uh, person for, like, market research. Hey, do you know what this is, Mi middle-aged white male? You know what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I've, you know what I mean? I've never seen this. So, like, they could have been given... I guess maybe I'm just out of touch. They could have been giving these away at McDonald's or something for all I know. None of this was very popular in America. Well, that's kind of what I was getting at. For these to be so readily available that you bought this and these in one day, that's just kind of crazy yeah. to me. Do you know the significance of why this one's white? Um, that one's actually the f from the first um, game. So this is later? Yes, okay. these are later well, This models. actually almost looks like, you know, if I put this on from afar, you'd just be like, oh, he's got some bling on. Yeah. This is ridiculous. It is bling. <laughs> it's cooler than any of the expensive watches out there, let's be honest. All right, let's move on because I, this is too cool. I <laughs> what else did you get? Well, um, we picked these up at two different stores. Um, That's right. That's why I asked you that because I thought you got yours at two different stores. You bought one of these at one. Go ahead. Which one did you buy first? Uh, we got the one from Savers. This is uh, volume two. And... Um, this will be another co complexion or collection that we will complete um, slowly but surely. And then we went off over to the Goodwill and found volume four from the same series. Right next door. There's a Savers, like four stores down in walking distance from the Savers. Uh, Goodwill, dollar store, something else, Savers. There's a pet store in there. And I couldn't believe it. There's another one. And these are the... the Classic '90s cartoons, the good ones. Cartoon. The, good ones. the newer generation. Well, is, hasn't there been like ten remakes? Like every year, there's yes. another one. Yeah. When was the last time you watched any of those Ninja Turtles? Mm, been a while. It's probably been since the '90s. Well, I'll be interested to hear how you think it holds up because I actually I've watched a handful of them on VHS recently. As you guys watching know, Tindo's been buying. Why is Tindo referring to Tindo in third person? 
I have been buying VHS up a lot lately. I've bought some turtles, and uh, it's pretty good. It's, yeah. it's really just like pizza. It's like you share that connection with the turtles. Like, you like pizza. <laughs> I like pizza. I'll definitely watch yeah. this. Did you get to the part where they have uh, kids from the future come visit them? Uh, definitely not. Okay. That sounds awesome, though. Yeah. <laughs> is is, the, is it bad? Future. Or is no, it weird? It's just, is that, it's fun. Is it like your favorite favorite turtles? Like when the future kids come? You know. It okay. sounds really strange when, to explain. When something sci-fi and fantasy matches up, that's my kind of thing. Yeah. Because it's a little steampunk in some ways. Now, the, the only thing turtles related that I can remember with time travel was the movie one where that happened that nobody liked quite as much as the other turtles ones. Turtles in time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the toys from that one. I had a bunch of the turtles in time toys. What else did you get? Uh, from, let's see, Goodwill. Um, while these guys hit up the, the movies and DVDs, I decided to go off to the books and see if I could find anything video game related, which I did. Um, this is Uncharted Drake's Journal, which is the making of our That's book. beautiful. It's just got some great art in it. Just good stuff in general. Yeah. Two oh, bucks wow. seemed like a good price. This was two bucks? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I, you guys comment below. Uh, is there anyone watching that that really likes this stuff? Because this is something we haven't talked about on the channel yet. I've definitely known a few collectors in my time, more so with movies and video games, that they spend a good amount of money just on behind the scenes books, just to get that extra artwork. When they love something so much, they want you know. So what is this? The face models that were scanned for the characters in the game. Uh, there's definitely there's definitely a type of person that that really that people really, really, really like this kind of stuff. Comment below if that's you, because I don't own anything like that. I don't own any... We didn't until The making now. of either. Well, maybe some. We have our Armana books. Yeah. Is that something RPG related? Yeah, Final Fantasy artist. I knew it. You knew it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also came across uh, this Guinness World Record 2014 Gamers Edition. What all is on the front? Um... Let's see. Uh, so we've got Minecraft. <laughs> Steve. Versus zombie. Oh, yeah. that's Skylanders. Skylanders. Plants so, so versus zombies. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting. So you guys watching again might know I've bought a Pikmin. few of these over the last couple months, and I always buy them because they're a perfect stamp in time. If you want to know what was popular in 2014 in the video game world, that book is how you find out. Because like yeah. that sounds exactly right. Skylanders. Now who's ever heard of them? But in 2014, they were big enough to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for something. <laughs> now, Minecraft being in the Guinness Book of World Records, not, not surprised. Surprising. Not surprised at no. all. But uh, why did you buy this? What did, what made you go must have? Well, anytime I find game books that are historical, I enjoy picking them up, and they'll be a good read through. And honestly, they look cool on the coffee table. Yeah, yeah. well, that's a good coffee book. That's I a good coffee it. table book. All right, what else did you get? I got cats. <laughs> <laughs> I got cats. The musical. Um, I I do love a good musical, and uh, I love cats. Oh, oh, I don't mean to interrupt you. Hannah's behind the camera, pumping her fist. That Are was you... my favorite when I was a kid. Everybody in the theater world trashes cats. That's they true. They all think it's terrible, but I grew up watching the heck out of that. I yeah. loved it. One of my favorite things about this musical is the hair, and makeup, and costumes. It's just phenomenal. Yes. So. I, I was a bit of a theater kid, but I, I never paid too much attention to Cats. Is this just a filming of the stage production? Is that Or is this a film? This is a stage production. Okay, this is the filming of the stage production. That's cool. Yes. That doesn't happen a lot in theater. I don't know how many people we have watching that their interests tie into both theater and video games, but uh, the filming of stage productions is not, not hyper common, so that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. I bet you that's fun to watch. Oh, I love watching it. And uh, these guys have some beautiful cats, which I now know because I've seen them in person. But up until day, today, I've actually only ever seen them on our Discord. Go join the Discord. But we post pictures of our pets, of all our pets on the Discord, and it's pretty much all cat people, which is fine. If you've got cats, yeah. come to the Discord and post pictures of your cats. But let's get a few more dog people in there. We've pretty much only got, I kid you not, pigs. Pigs and cats. Pigs and cats. There's a dude in pigs. Dude's got pet pigs, and it's awesome. It's awesome. But we need some dogs. What else did you get? All right, so I picked up uh, Ultimate Avengers the movie. Now, this is not the live-action movie. <laughs> this is um, an animated movie. Um, basically based off of more along the lines directly from the comic books than... At least a lot closer to the comic books than the live-action yeah, stuff. Right. Um, do, do you guys have more of this stuff, or is this like the first Avengers thing you bought? Um, I'll... 
I'll pick them up when I see them for a good price, but you can usually watch them online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not too hard, may I? Uh, so this one is in a sleeve. Just kind of sweet Which in the Goodwill. is especially appealing for us because we like complete yeah, items it, for our collections. Uh, yeah, this is very pretty. I just wanted to see, it's been a long time since I've bought a DVD. I want to see, oh, look at this. This is perfect. What is the advertisement inside of the Avengers DVD? For Speed Racer. Speed Racer. Speed Racer. Racer. That. Man, it's a nice little bow. It's, oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Plus, it's Captain America's shield as the DVD. Oh, that's inside. beautiful. And Captain America was one of the first um, comic books that I read as a child. That is awesome. Uh, you've got one more. Jeez, this is awesome. I don't remember you buying a couple of these. Uh, so, Daniel spotted this one first. Um, again, I love 90s cartoons as well, although this, yeah, that was 1998. Mm -hmm. um, might have aired closer to the 2000s by the time, you know, regular TV got it. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is, that's Batman Beyond the movie. Oh, it's the movie too, I remember it. Yep. Uh, it's awesome. And show them the inside of it. Cardboard printed on on the inside, no slip, just inside printing. You don't see that a lot. Yeah. This series is fantastic. Um, the more that you get into uh, the episodes, the the darker the theme becomes. Yeah. A little more psychological. And um, it's surprisingly dark. Yeah. To think about now, that it's for the fact that we watched it when we were like eight. Yeah, you enjoy it way differently now than you did as a kid. For sure. And they're both enjoyable. In different ways. Has anybody here heard the rumors? I think it's strictly speculation at this point that they're talking about making a movie and Michael Keaton playing. Hmm. playing old Batman, old Bruce Wayne in Batman Beyond. That would be amazing. That would be yeah. pretty dope, wouldn't it? I, I, It may not be real, but I've heard whispers. I'm just saying. Tindo doesn't know any extra information. He just reads things. Sometimes he makes stuff up, though, so don't trust him. All right, we've got one more thing to talk about because we did all this shopping, and it was awesome. We all bought some stuff that we really like, but we actually went out to dinner together and ate some hamburgers, and that was fun. But while we were there... Some uh, large man came lurking by the outside of the hamburger place, and it was a really strange turn of events, and you went outside and handed the man a big fat stack of cash and came back with a bag of stuff. It sounds suspect, but it was actually pretty awesome. Let's talk about everything <laughs> that you got from him. Oh, hold on. Wait. Were you trying to get away with not doing that? I forgot. Before we move on. Hannah found this, and then we all like we shamed. All, we all shamed her for not buying yeah. it, and then you actually bought it. She put it back, and I was surprised, and so I decided to snag it. Um, it's beautiful. Thanks, Hannah. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for out, Hannah. That's the best dress I've ever seen. But anyways, back to what I was saying. After we bought this lovely dress, and after we bought this stuff, dinner time, these guys got another deal on offer up. This was two in one day. These guys bought, have bought a lot of their collection off of OfferUp, um, or locally. Uh, when I say yeah. OfferUp, I just mean, you know, Facebook Marketplace. You guys yeah. kind of yeah. shop all of them, right? Yeah. Um, that's dope. That's a dope find right there. You guys you guys tell us what you want to tell us about that. Um, so I've been looking for this particular edition of the new TDS XL, which is the Pikachu edition. Um, it's no longer made, no longer sold in stores. And I noticed that someone that I have sold a few things to in the past was selling his. So just to clarify, uh, I, I have to give a little preamble here. These guys, as long as I've known them, like they, they check the phone, they check offer up, they see what's for sale, and uh, they try to. You guys try to jump really quickly on the things that come up that the you want, right? Want. So when did you notice this was on on offer up? This had actually been posted for three weeks. Okay. And he was asking what it's worth. Um, and in order for us to collect, you know, we, we need to um, make some deals and find some bargains. And I noticed that he hadn't sold his lot yet. And I hit him up and asked him, hey, do you remember me? And he did. And um, I asked him what would be a fair price for you to sell the Studios and these four games and the carrying case. And we he made an offer and we agreed upon that amount and met up and I got 
You got all of it. All four games. Two of these are actually sealed. We have Zelda's Majora's Mask. Greatest Hits, Greatest sealed. Hits. And then this one is a fairly new release. It's also sealed. It's Pokemon Ultra Moon. And then Alpha Saf Sapphire. This one's open. Um, They're super clean. Everything here is immaculate. It's, it's beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. There's even a you tempered could, glass. You could screen. eat off of it. Yeah. Yeah. But don't you dare. Don't no. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that to Pikachu's face. That'd be weird. <laughs> it would be weird. And the last one is Pokemon X. Oh, nice. Which is also so clean. So it's so clean. beautiful. So that is one of many DSs you guys have bought locally, correct? Yes. And uh, you, did you say? Did I say? That, did you say this or did I put this in your mouth? Is that like your favorite one? Is that I? Yes. I had passed up on this when it was brand new, and I regretted it ever since. And we finally found one in nice condition with the box for great price. That's awesome. It's beautiful. And the box itself, like, you know. It's perfect. Uh, you guys like collecting stuff in box. Not everybody is as into it as we are, perhaps. But, like, that that box, you've got to keep. The the person that bought their kid that and let the kid throw that box away, shame on them. Because that box is almost as awesome as the handheld itself. That is beautiful. They I mean, performed a sacrilege yeah. on video games. <laughs> it's, yeah. Video. They brought right, honor to... They brought dishonor to their dojo. <laughs> this is just beautiful. So, how are you guys going to display? Are you? You might actually play that one, yeah? Is that? Oh, this was. This is going to become my my new. Your new daily driver. Daily yeah. driver for yeah. sure. This this box. Uh, we're going to do some reorganization and try to make ourselves a Pokemon theme shelf or a Pokemon shrine. Is like I like to joke. Uh, I'm going to make a suggestion here, and mm -hmm. you're you're not going to follow it. Because I'm a crazy person, but like you have you have these beautiful white walls in your home and these beautiful white shelves. I think you just need to paint one shelf bright yellow and put all your, <laughs> put all your Pokemon stuff on it, and that's that. But you know, Tindo likes his yellow. Why is Tindo talking in the third person? He's a crazy person. That's why. All right, so let's let's go back to what we were gonna do and talk about all our favorite things now. Um, and you can include your your. Uh, pickups there because I might add these guys are doing it the right way I'm out I was about to speak in third person again what is wrong with me it's a condition I wonder if there's like a medical condition where you can only talk about yourself in the third person that sounds like something that would happen on an episode of House awesome. yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah we we've been talking about our mutual love for House uh, comment below any House watchers out there mm -hmm. Let's talk about our favorite things. I'm gonna tell everybody what my favorite thing I got was, my favorite thing you got, my favorite thing you got. And then you're gonna do the same. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. So we can all talk about our favorite things. As we do this, you guys comment below and just tell us in general what were your favorite things. All right, favorite thing I got, I'm actually most excited about this deck of cards for sure. It's just a weird thing, a video game. Cause there's, it, it's this strange new phenomenon. It may not actually be that new. There's this phenomenon where there's lots of card games now that are digital mm -hmm. only. It, that seems so silly to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, Hearthstone, those things. That seems so silly to me, especially for somebody who bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards brand new the day they came out in America. You know what I'm saying? That just seems crazy. But this is really interesting. A video game card game that no one's ever heard of. I'm excited about it. My favorite thing that you got... Is this everything you got? She and beat, the controller. Okay, yeah. she beat us so bad. Oh, bad. We bad. look terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess... I guess I'm the most excited about this, the thing you got on offer up today. It's Ghostbusters because, and Pokemon. You can't it. And that's what I was about to say. That analogy, the com combination of Ghostbusters and Pokemon, it makes me want to go write things on pieces of paper, put them in a hat, and draw. Like, I have to write my own anime based off of, you know, I'm going to just randomly draw out... Uh, two different uh, things. Two different, two different completely random things and make a video game and or anime <laughs> about it. My favorite thing that you got... Gosh, you've got so much to pick from. Oh, yeah. This is for sure. <laughs> I'm, uh, I don't know if I'll ever get around to playing one of these games, uh, but whether or not I do the next one of these that we see at a thrift store, I got dibs because that needs to go. <laughs> that needs to go on the shelf, or I need to wear it in public and see if anybody says anything. You know, it'd probably just be like I'd go to the grocery store to be one little Asian kid that would just be like, ah, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be that would make it all worth it. All right, what was your favorite thing that we all got? Oh man. Um... For her, I'll start to the left. I mean, 
This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's... For my wife, I know she's wanted one so long, and we finally got it for a good price and clean, and it's beautiful. I'm super happy. I I, uh, I feel honored to be in its presence. All right, what's your favorite <laughs> thing you got? Um, I, I love this. Yeah. The cool thing is, is you know, we have all these 3DS games out here, and they're cool, but this one's like hollow to it. Like yeah. Shines at the I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but like, uh, have you not seen me over here 20 times going? Yeah. I, uh, I've made no secret of my love for the holographic covers on titles. This makes me feel so cool. Like, <laughs> I don't. You look cool. Yeah. I don't yeah. wear a watch, but yeah. This is what a rapper feels like. And of your stuff, I think the coolest thing was this because. The Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> It's wonky, and you just don't expect to see it. No. And well, the best part about this is going to be whenever I get around. There's a couple videos I want to do in the future, making custom cases for these demo discs that I have. You have to make one with Britney Spears. There's going to be. A, I'm going to make. I'm going to custom design this one just to be as Britney as possible. <laughs> I might even put bald Britney on the cover. We'll see. In the process of the shape. Yeah, already right in the yeah, middle of it. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's your? Uh, all right. That's that's it. So, you like this? This. And the DS. Your turn. What's your... Oh, I forgot about the dress. I might almost have to change my favorite thing you got to the dress. But I still like this a lot. But that's awesome. <laughs> I just don't want you guys to forget about the dress. Because, like, if the next time I see you, you're not wearing it, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be a little disappointed. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> and the glasses. Like, imagine you going out in public. That dress. That hair. Those glasses. And this watch. In the watch <laughs> people people will call the cops on you that's what will happen they will send me back to the psych ward it, just if you ever do lose your mind and decide to do that make sure that I'm following you with the camera and I'll, be, I'll be playing this <laughs> that's great I'm sorry okay what were your favorite things your favorite find is the Genesis game oh nice because it, it had my name on it oh man this is so is I it, thought I pictured somebody lives in the valley that's playing a scavenger hunt trick on you and yeah. they're placing games and all the stores right. with your name. There's on somebody it. watching. One. There's somebody watching. That's really in, in the spur of the moment. That's what I imagined you were imagining. That someone's out here playing huge tricks on me. That's wild. Yeah. Uh, you know what's really actually sad about that is that normally, whenever these crazy things happen in one of our videos, I do a little story time. I cut in the middle of the episode. I do story time. This would be a perfect story time, but the story happened on camera. I guess that's good, though. Yeah. What's your favorite thing old Dan boy got? Uh, the yokai watch <laughs> Japanese. It's holographic, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, that wins tonight. We didn't even get it at the thrift store, but that's okay. Um, it's called yokai watch. Yeah. And, like, how on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I have to find a yokai watch game and play it? You can go to a five below and buy it for five bucks brand the new. The very first one is five dollars brand new. Well, let's go! <laughs> yeah, they're close tonight. It's actually getting late. That's awesome. Um, What's the favorite thing you got? I think this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so great. So, so first of all, again, to recap, uh, before we got together tonight, uh, Dan uh, took a break at work. Would you go on your lunch break or something? Pretty much, yeah. And went and picked this bad boy up. And he sent pictures to everybody on the Discord. We're like, yo, that looks awesome. I've never heard of it. I'm going to Google it. We meet up tonight. We go to the thrift store. And not only, were all three of these in one bag? Yes. Okay, all three of these were in a bag in the toy section. And you guys watching, you know that I always go look at the toys in the savers. But I don't often buy anything because usually it's like... It's like a Mario toy in a bag with ten other things that I don't want. And the bag of toys is six bucks. But it just so happened, <laughs> the watches were all in one bag, but that's not it. The, this was in a separate bag, wasn't it? All by it itself. Was. That's wild. What do you think the chances are someone actually donated this separate? May I try it on? Yeah. I have such it, a big head. It probably won't reach your ears. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. You, you win tonight, by the way. Everything that I got can go in the trash compared to what you got. Like, the, the, the DS, this thing... What is this character called? Jim Banyan. Jim Banyan. I was going to try to like fuse that with Tindo, like Jim Tindo. I don't know. It's not going to work. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. The time is time to leave. There's so much going on here. Uh, but thank you for watching. Do comment below what your favorite thing that each of us got was, or maybe just your favorite thing that any of us got tonight. I'm having a feeling it's going to be somewhere between here and this beautiful, beautiful DS. Can you tell on camera that his nose is raised? That's beautiful. That's a work of art, is what that is. <laughs> the fact that it's ready to play. I mean, when, when we leave, are you gonna you gonna stay up late and play your play, try it out, give it a little try?
All night until 10. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button before you go. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Subscribe right now because subscribe for the, I don't know, subscribe for the dress. If nothing else, subscribe for the dress. It's awesome. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Join the Discord. Peace out.